it was it was just amazing out here. The winds were up 40 to 60 mile an hour, and, and that fire just raced across the landscape and was just consuming things. It, you know, you couldn't get in front of it and try and stop it. Um, and before you know it, it was pretty close to Haxton. Later on, they told us about 32,000 acres burned up. Um, of that, unfortunately, four or five homes, I think somewhere between 12 and 15 outbuildings. Um, and out here, outbuildings means barns, um, people's equipment. Um, so it really affected the community as far as, um, you know, we have farmers and ranchers out here. And so impacted their ability not just to do the work, but it burned up their work, burned up their fields, burned up their pastures. So it was a significant impact. We were just brainstorming ideas of what, what it is that we could offer to potentially help uh, the community. And one of the things that came to mind was, you know, I know some of our wildlife areas produce hay, um, and we usually do it where a, a farmer or rancher an exchange of use. Um, they'll make the hay for us and they'll leave us a certain percentage. And so I started asking around and found that we had some hay down in South Park. Um, and they had somewhere between 60 and 75 bales that they uh, were willing to, to give us. And so it just took some coordination um, between our hatcheries folks and uh, several different areas in the region. And we were able to get it loaded and bring it out here. Um, didn't cost us anything to make and certainly is a simple thing we can do to to offer it up to those who are affected. You know, along the Front Range, we, we sometimes forget that uh, there's a lot of ways to make a living in this state. Um, and out here on the Eastern Plains, it's, it's agriculture. And agriculture is what makes the communities thrive. And when a fire comes through, you know, we're fortunate that only a few structures went up, but it took away their livelihood and significantly impacted their ability to make a living. And for us to be able to contribute in some small way, um, I just feel thankful that the agency was willing to do that.